So before I go off on a walk of my own, I wanted to post a video of appreciation uh, to Fred conference report, who um, usually is on walks when he uh, records his thoughts, and uh, there really is a poetry of walking and you know, a way of thinking that emerges as a result of that embodied activity that wouldn't otherwise be available to us. And plenty of artists um, and creative, creative geniuses went on walks in order to stir their imagination um, into an active state, sort of not only active, but also receptive. Um, you know, because you're taking in the world around you as you move through the world, as, um, as Fred was describing. But it reminded me of a, a passage from one of Henry David Thoreau's essays called Walking that I wanted to read. Um, it's actually quoted in this book by Christopher Bamford, An Endless Trace, The Passionate Pursuit of Wisdom in the West, which is a sort of uh, history of, of romanticism and even... Um, deeper than that, or more ancient than that, of, uh, of Hermeticism. Um, but I want to read this excerpt from the Rose, the Rose essay on walking. I have met but with one or two persons in the course of my life who understood the art of walking, that is, of taking walks, who had a genius, so to speak, for sauntering, which word is beautifully derived from idle people who roved about the country in the Middle Ages, and asked for charity under the pretense of going a la Santa Terra, meaning to the Holy Land, till the children exclaimed, there goes a Santa, a Santa Terra, a Santerer, a Holy Lander. They who never go to the Holy Land in their walks, as they pretend, are indeed mere idlers and vagabonds. But they who do go there are saunterers, in the good sense, such as I mean. Some, however, would derive the word from sans terre, S-A-N-S-T-E-R-R-E, -R -R -E, meaning without land or home, which, therefore, in the good sense, will mean having no particular home, but being equally at home everywhere. Um, so I'm going to throw that into the mix. I'm going to go on a walk now. Maybe I'll be inspired to record something. I'll post it as a response to this, if so. But if not, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for taking us on your walks, Fred.